Ladies and gentlemen, Botcom Combiner Wars revealed. All these images have been taken from Cybertron.com. Just said, I will state that. Um, no trickery going on or anything. So, we have Blast Off, um, who is a repaint of one of the uh, aerial bots. Mm, not huge on this, admittedly, though. It does look like a decent figure. I would have preferred a new mold, to be honest. But I suppose Hasbro probably taught how many times can we really use a shuttle mode for a combiner. So, okay, fair enough. And we have a new mold. This is Brawl. Um, looks like a very cool figure. All these Combaticons will be launching first quarter of 2016, I believe. And here's Brawl in his tank mode. Looks like a very cool figure, I have to say. Very detailed. All these new molds seem to have a lot of detail. And here's Swindle, who is a remold and repaint of Rook. Um, looks very, very detailed as all. Well. I mean, look, just these new molds really seem to have a lot of detail in them. But yeah, I'm surprised how much they were able to remold Rook. Looks like a really, really good figure, I have to say. Um, definitely, definitely picking up these Combaticons. And here we have Vortex, who is rather predictably a repaint of Blades. Um, not bad, because I did like that mold. So there we go. Cool looking figure. Um, admittedly, I'm not huge on the bright yellow missiles, but what can you do? Still looks like a very cool figure. And we have Onslaught. Looks like a great figure. Repaint and a remold of Hotspot, but we all saw that coming and it worked perfectly for this figure. And a really cool thing is what was the front of Hotspot is now the back of Onslaught. And, you know, his feet look like this big armoured cabin. It just looks really, really cool. And here we have Devastator in his combined mode. Or not Devastator, sorry, Bruticus. Looks like a really, really good figure. Um, how can I say Devastator? Sorry, guys. Then uh, launching for the rest of this year, we have Ironhide, who is a repaint of Offroad, which was a new Stunticon. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that mold because I just don't like the backpack. I find it a bit boring. Um, but it looks, admittedly, it does look pretty good for Ironhide. Then we have Mirage, who is a repaint of the Stunticon drag strip, the yellow, the yellow Stunticon, um, which I think we all saw coming. Looks like a very cool figure. Um, yeah, that yeah, looks to work fairly well. Then we have another one coming up. We have Prowl. And uh, all these, the four of these figures will combine with a white repaint of Optimus Prime to form Ultra Prime. Um, from the IDW comics. So yeah, looks cool. Then launching the second quarter of 2016, or after the Combaticons, we have this wave, we have Hound, who is a repaint of Swindle, um, with a new head. I don't think there's any remolding, but looks like a very cool figure. Um, again, that mold, that Swindle repaint, uh, remold, looks really, really good, so definitely picking up that figure. Then we have Smokescreen, who is a repaint of Prowl, Works very well for the character, so I don't particularly mind. Um, I loved Smokescreen in Transformers Prime. Um, but uh, yeah, looks like a cool figure. Looks like a cool figure. And next we have Trailbreaker. Or are they calling him Trail Cutter these days? I don't know, but here he is anyway. It looks like a very cool figure. I'm not sure why one of his hands is a gun. That is probably a Generation 1 reference that I'm forgetting. Um, but uh, yeah, he's a repaint again of Ironhide, who was a repaint of Offroad. Looks like a cool figure. Then we have a repaint of all the Stunticons. We have Wheeljack. Looks like a great figure, but I don't like the fact he comes with that blade. I would have preferred some sort of be weapon because it would have looked more in line with Wheeljack character of always inventing things but it looks like a cool figure and again you can see remolding going on at the front of the uh, cabin or the front of the bonnet and everything to make a more Wheeljacky. Then we have Skylinks who is the core combiner for this wave the Voyager class. Looks like a really cool figure and a lot of people are very excited for Skylinks. Here he is in his jet mode just looks like a really really cool figure I have to say and he forms with the four figures I just showed you to form Sky Rain is what they're calling this guy from Hound, Trailbreaker, and um, smoke screen and wheel jack looks like a very very cool combiner here folks then leader class we're getting a star scream and um, who again we're also getting a sky warp repaint seems we got thundercracker it looks to come with a crown great figure here then legends class i'm only going to show you the new molds we have um would you believe it we're getting buzzsaw who even turns into a little I don't know, electronic looking cassette and everything, but yeah, looks really, really cool, I have to say. It looks like a very, very cool figure. I hope you get a laser beak repaint. Um, and he also turns, uh, his little cassette can pop out some wheels and some spikes maybe for a little rolling tank or something, or maybe it's like a kind of bladed shield for the bigger combiners, I don't know. Then we're getting pipes, a repaint of Optimus Prime. Yeah, looks like a cool figure. I know a lot of the G1 fans are really going to want to snap this one up because again, pipes was one of the little mini bots back then, so he's probably about the same size. So yeah, and the official Legends figure for Bruticus is Shockwave. What a cool looking Legends figure is all I can say. Um, he even turns into his Generation 1 gun, just looks like a great figure. So guys, all images were taken from Cybertron.com. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Could really do with it. And uh, yeah.